Hey cousins, it's your cousin Marquita. I'm back with another video. Today is a makeup tutorial. Uh, I started with a bare face because I want to show you step by step how to do a natural glam makeover. First thing I want to use is the MAC primer. I used to get these when um, I had, it was like a makeup kit that you get sent to your door every month. But... First, start out with a primer. It doesn't have to be MAC primer, but that's what I have. So that's what I'm using. And just a little bit. It's not even a lot on my finger. Like, it's just, it's such a little bit. You don't want to weigh it down with primer anyway. Then I'm going to take my eyebrow brush with using my dual color brush. And just brush it up. Because of course I gotta do something with my eyebrows. Then I'm gonna move on to concealer and the concealer that I use is the master concealer if you can see this is by Nouveau Nouveau master conceal I like it I think it works really really well exceptionally well actually now I'm just going to take my concealer brush I'm just drawing a line that to the shape that I want my eyebrow. And I put concealer on my whole eyelid. I got on my eyelids by accident, but I put on my whole eyelid to really bring out my eyeshadow. And some of you know how to do this because you're professionals, but there are still people who want to get involved but they just don't know and i'm not a professional well i'm a professional licensed cosmetologist but um i don't consider myself a professional makeup artist but i do think i do pretty good with the experience that i had i have done a couple of weddings and different things and the bride and the bridesmaids everybody love their look but i'm just moving on to the next eyebrow and take your time it's not a race you can actually use your uh you can position your hand on your face if you feel like you move a lot if that's if you feel like you're shaking too much but i've been doing this for a while so i can just kind of freehand it Then before I start the top of my eyebrow, I'm gonna do under my eyes. And this is just to help make your eyes pop more under all your makeup. I'm gonna let that sit a little bit and once it dries then we'll do more blending under your eyes so now I'm gonna move to another concealer for the top of my eyebrow this is LA girl pro conceal I love this concealer it just goes on so well it's been out for a while but I still use it so just try to draw the line of the shape that you want your eyebrow to be I go that top line first and then I go down where the arch is. I can blend this here. 
you don't want it to be that line of demarcation. But all of that is going to be blended very soon. Then I'm moving on to the next eyebrow. Then I'm filling in the middle as I blend it. Blend this. Just sweep it up. That's what I do. I'm going to go back with the brush and blend it all anyway. But you just don't want to see a line of demarcation. And then put some in the middle. Don't go too far over because then you're going to mess up your eyebrow starting point. Just kind of like, like right here I went over a little bit too far. You could just wipe that away. And just go up. I like to do this too. Go down my nose like that. All right. Next, I'm going to use this NYX Tame and Frame. This is for my eyebrows. And I'm using my angle brush. Now, I don't start right here. Because if you start right here, it's going to look too fake. You got to kind of like start back some. So I'll just show you. I'm just following this line and I switch into the arch position and I come down that's why it's good to have a good angle brush because you can come down on an angle when you sweep down if you need some more product on your brush dip it in some more tap it on a napkin which I have right here you just get back into it. Take your time. Like I said, it's no rush. It's no rush to do this. And you can always use this same concealer brush to clean up anything if it's not as sharp as you want it. But take your time. So that's one eyebrow down almost. Hold on, let me get this in this edge. Doesn't matter where you start, you can start at the bottom, the top, it doesn't matter. This one I went down a little bit too far, if you can tell. But like I said, you can always take your concealer brush and clean it up. So next we are going to blend. You just tap. Constantly tap. And like a U shape, that's how we want to tap. And get the corners. 
It doesn't matter how far down it comes. Just try to keep it like in this area. Kind of, sort of. I mean, don't you don't want to go too far down. Put it that way. You don't want to go all the way down here. Just try to stay like where your cheekbone is. And then go to the other side and bring it. Then I turn it around and I use the inside of my brush to blend my eyelid. Everything is blended actually. Because you don't want to see lines and then people are like, oh I know how she put that on. She did this and that. No, you want to blend and make it look like a, plant, a painting almost. Like a canvas. But this takes practice. It's not like the first time you do it, you got it. You really gotta practice. Practice, practice, practice. Next, I'm going to move into uh, my box of crayons. A lot of you might have this. You might have seen it. Let me show you. This is the color palette that I have. So the color that I'm going to use from here is the gold first. And I'm going to show you how I put this one. Just rub it, take it. right here in the middle. The middle of my eyelid, that's where I put the gold. Yep. I really like gold, so I just put that, like another little layer. And I'm going to the other one. my eyeshadow brush do color then I'm gonna go and let me see something I'm gonna use tan on the inside of my lid Just blend it. I'm using a blending brush this time. Blend it, blend it, blend it. Can't blend it enough. It's the most important part. Blend. Then I'm gonna use a little brown for the tip of my eyelid, the, this part of my eyelid. Yeah. And then again, we're just gonna blend, carrying it over to the middle, like. You can see how it creates like that blend look. Like the colors running into each other. Take some more brown and do the other side. And it's almost like you're creating like a greater than sign, as you can tell. But you got that blending brush and your brush is blending. Kind of goes towards the middle, like I said before. If you find that you have a little bit too much on your brushes, wipe it off on a paper towel and just get right back to blending. Mm -hmm. 
And for the top of my brow, I'm gonna use a different palette. I'm gonna use the Morphe one. And I'm gonna use Bronze Beauty. And just take an eyeshadow brush. Not the blending brush, because you really wanna keep it in that area. Actually, I think I'm gonna use something a bit lighter because I'm not liking how that looks already for some reason. I'm gonna switch over to Spark from the Morphe palette. And just put it at the top of your brow, your brow, the bottom of your brow line. If you hear children in the background, that's my children. We playing a game. All right, that's the eyeshadow part. Now I'm gonna move into my liquid liner. And this liquid liner is, uh, actually let me blend this golden a little bit more. Liquid liner, you really gotta have a steady a steady hand or it'll go off. But even if it does, remember makeup is art, so don't get all upset. Just either start over or like I said, keep practicing. But on where I want my line to be and then I'll fill it in. You can pull like this. That way you don't have like too much creasing. And I'm gonna switch to the other eye. Let me just show you. Remember, draw a line to where you want your line to be. And then go back and fill it in. Like a crayon, like a coloring book. You can outline and then color it in. And I like the point on this, it's really, really precise. Starting to get teary eyed. That happens. That's like three from some eyelashes I had. I'm off so I can do this video for you guys. See how I messed up right here? Like I said, makeup is art. So just go back, fix it, or try to get, try again. These are the lashes I'm going to be wearing. You can get these on my website. 
they're called she ready lashes go to shop at those.com but i'll put the link in the description but now i'm about to show you how these lashes look on so i just put the glue on my lashes and now i'm blowing it to make it kind of tacky because if it's too wet it's gonna slip right off I told you I'm showing y'all the whole process. It's the whole process. <laughs> People don't do this anymore. They just jump right into this and that and that's it. This already done it. That's already done. I'm just showing you the whole process. I think that's good enough. And then you can take your tweezers and pinch it. Oh my gosh, I don't like my tweezers. But you take your tweezers and just pinch your eyelash to the faux lash to make it more secure. Making sure it's dry, dry. All right. I just went ahead and put the other lash on. That is a little lengthy process. Now I'm gonna put some concealer on like these little dark spots on my face. You can cover up whatever area you want. We'll just leave it. You can leave it. It's up to you. But this is what I do. Now I'm going to put my foundation on. This is the NC45 MAC Foundation Studio Fix. I think I'm going to use the flat kabuki brush to like really blend this in. But I know I got started doing makeup when I was in the 10th grade. I was doing, well, actually I was introduced to makeup by this girl in my class and she used to always come to school looking flawless. I mean, hair flawless, her makeup flawless. It was so nice. And I was just like, well, let me see. Let me, let me um, do my face one day. And she was just teaching me. And I was just like, oh. And when she did my face, I was like, okay. I like that look. Yes. And I just kept getting makeup. Like, she, she would give me makeup. Then when I got older, well, graduated, then I would buy my own makeup. I went to MAC because that was just, like, the store that everybody wanted to go to at the time. 
but I still like MAC. I mean, MAC has really great products. Really, really good products. But, I'm just putting a foundation on my, oh, this foundation is NC45. This is the Powder Studio Fix Foundation from MAC. It's so worn out, but I use it often. Yeah, I just throw it in my little makeup bag. That's why it's all messed up. And try to blend the, this light spot. See that light spot over your eye? Try to get as close as you can to it. That way you take that line away. You don't want that. Look. Try to get as close as possible without wiping the eyebrow line away. Get inside here because there might be some light spots right there. You can see the other side. Remember, you don't have to be perfect, it's art. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go way back and clean this up. Let me fill this in because it's looking way too spacey for my size forehead. Way too spacey. I meant to tell y'all to do this. Blend, 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 blend. Let me get a little bit more. My eyebrow look like it's disappearing. I'm gonna do the other side too. I'm sorry, I should have told y'all. You don't wanna come too close to that starting point though, because it's not gonna look right. Some say don't wipe it on your face, like just tap like this the whole way, but do whatever you feel comfortable with. If you want to tap it, tap it. If you want to wipe it, the powder I'm talking about, then wipe it. It's up to you. Because it's still, to me, it still go on the same. And it still look the same. Next, I'm going to contour my cheeks a little bit. And I'm going to just go back to the box of crayons. And use the brown wipe off the excess and just blend it in and use this brush blending brush powder brush I mean. See the difference? Blend it, not blend it, blend it.
Then I'm gonna use a little bit of shimmer bronze. This is the highlight. And I'm gonna go to the Morphe highlight um, color. And just go like above my cheekbone. See? A little bit above. And I'm just blending, 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 blending. Same thing on the other side. Blend, blend, blend. Then another thing you can do is go here with it. And above your lip. You can do your forehead too, but my forehead gets so oily. I just, it, got his, it has its own shine. So I don't need bother. Next for my lips, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star palette. And the one I'm going to use is I'm Nude. That's my favorite one. Actually, I was going to put some liner on, but I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do liner this time. I like liner, but then I don't like liner. I have a natural liner to my lip anyway. So what I do is I try to put it on the bottom and just smash to get it at the top. Smash your lips together. And you can take your finger or you can take a lip brush and blend it. My finger is better, <laughs> personally. Then I'm going to put some lip gloss on top. And I wanted to mention this lip gloss is found on my website at shopatdose.com. That's S H O P A T D O S E.com. I'll also be listed in trick. the description you below. But you can look. get three of these little tubes for $6, or you can get six for cute. $10. Hold your paper tail. And just clean it up. So there you have it. Natural Glam. I love how natural this looks. This is like one of my favorite, favorite looks. I mean, you could, any hairdo, any color you wear, like this look goes. But, bye cousins, till our next reunion.